I would love to meet the heroine of Barbara Kingsolver's Poisonwood Bible, the one who's the narrator and who marries a, um, a doctor in the Congo. And the drink I would make her would be a cocktail with coconut water and rum. And I would ask her about how she survived war, famine, the imprisonment of her partner with her sense of resilience intact. Um, A Hundred Years of Solitude by Garcia Marquez. Everybody tells, says it's the greatest work of literature ever written and I found it tedious and misogynist and he was telling the same freaking story 600 different ways. It could have been 100 pages shorter. I just, I was bored with it, first 10 pages in. The worst blurb that I've read, um, it would have to be anything written for Norman Mailer or Philip Roth, because both of what they write is bombastic, testosterone-laden, machismo, and yet people actually think it's literature. Muscular. It's a ridiculous word to use about literature and nobody actually knows what it means when they talk about muscular prose. Oh wow, now that's a tough one. Favorite book of mine I read when I was a child, The Brothers Lionheart by Astrid Lindgren. And I'm giving away the plot, but they die in the end. The characters die in the end. And I could not stop sobbing. I must have sobbed for a week over that. So I would change that ending. Oh gosh, the, the last mediocre book that I picked up, it would have been um, the latest Martin Amos. I think Martin Amis is so absorbed with himself that it's a, he writes the same novel over and over again. It's all about how clever Martin Amis is. Any writing rituals? Coffee. Coffee and sugar. <laughs> Those are on the bad days. On the good days, walking. Once I start moving my body, then my thoughts start moving as well. Imagination, empathy, stamina, persistence, and strong hands. Um, tissues, tea, chocolate, um, tissues, tea, chocolate, notebook, and I can't think of a fifth. I can do with four.